Hey everybody, it's Bria with Bri E. Um, I'm about to make the meringue for the key lime pie. I actually lost my video by moving my camera around. I was in the middle of the video. I'm just going to pick up where I left off, but um, I'm going to show you again uh, since you didn't get to see the other video. I'm having to start from scratch. This is the actual key lime pie in the other video that I just completed. It just came out of the oven. It's actually still very warm. So we want to um, kind of get busy and make the meringue and put it on top of the pie and get it in the oven to bake the meringue. So when we do it like that while the pie is still warm um, and get the meringue on top quick and get it back in the oven, pop it in at 350 and bake it with the, to get the meringue, that nice little uh, brown crust on top. It prevents when you put the pie in the fridge from the meringue shrinking um, away from your edges so it stays consistent and fluffy. And so what we're gonna need is um, a third of a cup of, of sugar. I have some here already uh, ready to go. And then we're gonna need cream of tartar. You can see that. That's the basis for meringue. You're gonna need about a half a cup. And what I like to do is I like to beat the meringue up a little bit and get it going where it's a little bit frothy. And then um, slowly add in the sugar and the tartar and just continue to mix it with the mixer until it becomes very dry and you can just kind of tell when you look at it, you know how you got some really decent meringue. So let's get started with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it again with the mixer and let's go, we'll put it up on full blast and I'll just slowly add in the cream of tartar and sugar until it gets a real firm uh, peak in the meringue and then we're ready to put it on our pie and stick it back in the oven. Here we go. <laughs> actually have meringue. I don't know if you can see it on the mixer. Uh, things right here on the on the mixer, the, the <laughs> spoons or something, the mixing spoons. But it's a very nice creamy white uh, color, not too shiny. Uh, looks really good. It looks almost like heavy whipping cream. And that is meringue made from scratch, y'all. And uh, we're going to put it on the key lime pie and stick it back in the oven. And this is the basis for meringue for any type of pie, is this recipe right here. So I'm going to put this stuff um, on the pie and then stick it in the oven at 350 degrees. And we're going to have to keep a very close eye on it because the meringue will bake very, very quickly. We don't want it to burn. Um, we want to have it the nice brown look to it and um, probably takes less than 15 minutes, so you wanna keep a very close eye on it. Some people like to use the torch, the little butane torch, and 
flame it up. That's a good way to do it. For me personally, it makes me a little nervous to be playing with gas in the kitchen like that. I, I'm just, I've had some bad experiences with those things, so I prefer to just do it in the oven uh, to brown up the meringue and cook it a little bit. Um, see how thick it is. Very nice looking color, fluffy. And uh, let's see if we can get it all going on the pie and get it in the oven. Um, I will have the recipe for this on the blog along with the recipe uh, for the key lime pie on my blog at brie.com. I'll try to put a link in the video and um, that way you can go pop over to the website and take a look around. I do, I write more than just uh, food. I, you know, I write on tech, health, food. Um, I write articles in those as well. And if you enjoyed the video and would like to continue to see more, just subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the little button so uh, whenever I pop another video out, it'll notify you right away with the little bell that I have a new video. I'm also on all social media channels, so you can like me as well. And uh, I appreciate y'all dropping in. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I've enjoyed making this video. I have a dog outside. But um, anyway, I'm going to get this meringue all settled around on this pie and pop it in the oven. I will definitely take a picture and have it on uh, the website, how this meringue turns out from the oven. Thank y'all for dropping in to visit this uh, video. And y'all have a great day. Blessings, y'all.